Morning, all. All right, so we have the one game starting at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, which is roughly two hours from when I'm recording this video, uh, which is much closer to start time than I ever post a preview video, but I figure it's just the one game. It's New Year's Day, so I know where view counts are going to be on New Year's Day. I've, I've, I've been down this road for a while on YouTube. Anyways, we have Vegas on one end of the ice. We have Seattle on the other. It is the Winter Classic. It is the only game on today the NHL gets it right. Game starts at 3 Eastern, uh, which is noon Pacific, and it features a Vegas team that's 22, 10, and 5 overall. Very good record, but they're only 5 and 5 in their last 10. Uh, for Seattle, they're 14, 14, and 9. Mediocre record overall, but over their last 10, they're 6, 1, and 3. Uh, the weather, it looks like, is going to cooperate with the National Hockey League. Currently 4 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, foggy, according to my, my, my weather app. And, yeah, that's about to be expected, and that's better than the rain that you might get on January the 1st. Or freezing rain, that kind of thing, which can happen. So, anyways, um, we'll see how this one goes. It is the second of four meetings. On October the 10th, Vegas won 4-1, to one, but that was ages ago now. And these teams will meet again March the 12th and March the 21st. On the Vegas side, their power play clicking at a 22% rate. Their penalty kill, 81%. Uh, 3.32 goals scored per game. They're allowing 2.76 goals against per game. But that number's been going up, and they're looking to make that trend reverse itself. Uh, Eichel, 16 goals, 24 assists, 40 points. I believe this is his first outdoor game. Not thinking Buffalo had one while he was well. There's the Heritage. Well, that would have been after he was... Anyways, <laughs> I was thinking back like, oh, he wouldn't have been at the Heritage game. But then there's the other. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Stevenson, six goals, 12 assists, 18 points for Chandler Stevenson. He, of course, is a UFA this summer. Uh, Stone, 12 goals, 25 assists, 37 points for Mark Stone. Uh, Carlson, not scoring at the same rate he was to start the season, but 15 goals, 17 assists. That's still a really decent first half of the season so far. Uh, Petrangelo, one goal, 14 assists, 15 points. Uh, very capable. McNabb's actually outpacing him in points at two goals, 14 assists, 16 points. That's kind of odd. Uh, Thompson, 11-6-3 record, 902 save percentage. His results have been up and down lately, uh, but that makes sense because almost everything related to Vegas has been up and down lately. On the Seattle front, their power play clicking at 21%, their penalty kill at 80%. They're scoring 2.65 goals per game. That number's getting better. They're allowing 2.97 goals against per game. That number's getting better as well. Uh, for Seattle... McCann, 14 goals, 8 assists, 22 points. On a team that largely hasn't needed one player to fix their record and, and get things uh, on the right track over the last 10. Uh, Bjorkstrand, 11 goals, 18 assists, 29 points. He's been excellent recently. Uh, Tolvin, 9 goals, 12 assists, 21 points. And Wenberg, 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. I think he had a goal and an assist in their last game. Uh, but yeah, Wenberg's been playing well too. On the blue line, you've got Dunn with 6 goals, 24 assists, 30 points. Uh, Larson, two goals, eight assists, ten points, uh, turning some heads with the way he's been playing recently as well. Uh, Decord, eight five and eight record. I had, did a bit of a double take when I saw that, but nine fifteen save percentage, very good save percentage for Decord. And so we'll see how this one goes today. So you guys, let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win this epic battle between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Seattle Kraken. At least it's going to be a nice looking uh, game. And, of course, we can have a discussion on the whether or not they, they, they used Metropolitan's uh, design when they did this or not. Um, Court will probably decide that, too. But, anyways, I haven't, I haven't talked about that yet. I saw it a few days ago, and I thought, well, we talk about that at some point in the video. So, roundabout way, I'm talking about it now, but we'll talk about it again later. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for all your support, as always. And I will talk to you again soon.